So in the last video clip, uh, we talked about data and its breakdowns, how data can be broken into two parts. It can either be categorical data or it can be numerical data, and how each of those can be broken down a little bit too. Um, but let's suppose that we have a question. So let's start off with our question, and we want to know how many licks to lollipop lollipop center okay so I want to know how many licks it takes to get to the center of a lollipop so this would be a question that I have I could design an experiment I could go out and give a lot of people lollipops and count how many how many licks it takes them to get to the center. Um, but let's talk about, first of all, okay, we've got this question, data. Okay, so what is our data or what type of uh, a variable are we interested in? We are looking about how many are the number of licks. So we have numerical and specifically we have ratio. Because if somebody takes 10 licks to get to the center and somebody takes 20 licks to get to the center, the person who took 20 licks took two times as many as the person who took 10. So we have numerical and we have ratio data. Okay, so we know kind of like what type of data that we have here. And we can start asking ourselves some other questions like who is our population? Okay. And so here it would basically be, let's suppose this is a specific brand of lollipop, but this would be how long it would take anybody um, time for, uh, not time, we should do number of licks for everyone. To get to center. Okay, so that's that's our population. This would be so if I am looking at you know I give it to ten people. I'm looking if we gave it a lollipop to everybody, we can figure out how many licks it would take to get to the center. So the population number of licks, and this would be everyone. Okay, so it's ridiculously hard to get to get to everyone. If we were to go into the whole world, give everybody a lollipop and make them lick it, that would be very hard. But if we did that, that would be called a census. We would go give a lollipop to everyone. Okay, that's kind of crazy. Um, most of the time we don't have the time or the resources in order to do that, so we do what's called a sample. Okay, so if I wanted to do everyone, everyone is really hard. Let's, let's bring it down. Let's do everyone at Casper College. All right, whoo, instead of now having like seven billion people, now I've just got a couple thousand. That's still hard to go do a sample or to do a census. So I'm going to go do a sample and I'm going to randomly select, select, we'll do 50. Okay, at Casper College. Great. So now I know what my population is. We're going to say everyone at CC. We want to figure out how many number of licks it takes to get to the center. We know what a census would be. It would be if I actually gave a lollipop to everyone at CC. But the sample is I'm only going to do 50. Okay, so my variable for my data is number of licks to center. And my statistic would be something like one statistic could be the average average number of licks to the center. The parameter, so the st the statistic we would get from the sample 
Let's look at the parameter. This would be true average of population for number of licks. That comes from the population. Now, a lot of times we can get the statistic and we can estimate what the parameter is. Okay, so our data, if we did this, would be the collection of all of the people that we went out and sampled. The population would be everyone at CC. Census would be if we went and actually gave everyone a lollipop. The sample is if we randomly selected 50 and gave them a lollipop. Our variable would be this number of licks to the center. The statistic would be the average licks to the center as calculated from our sample. And the parameter would be the true average number of licks to the center of the lollipop. Hope that this helps out in helping us understand what's our data and some of these other vocab words.